Hello guys. Today I have a very quick video on cleaning up my solutions from my previous two silver videos. The first thing I'll do is take this spent electrolyte and pour it into another beaker. I'll then rinse off the small amount of silver crystals. I'll add these to my next batch. I'll recover the remaining silver in this solution with a piece of copper coil. I have a bucket here for all the other solutions. I'll add all the solutions together and I'll drop the silver out as silver chloride. This was the rinse water from the silver crystals in the last video. This was the rinse water from my silver refining video with homemade nitric acid. If you haven't seen these videos, I'll leave the link in the description for you. In the jar, I already have some silver chloride with some filters. So I'll rinse the filters out and the silver chloride will drop through the sieve. I'm adding some sodium chloride, also known as table salt, to some water. This will be poured into the solution. Any remaining silver nitrate will be converted to silver chloride. Silver chloride is not soluble in water, so it will precipitate as a fine white powder. You can see the silver chloride floating around as I stir the liquid. I'll leave the solutions to settle overnight. This is a little sneak peek at my next series of videos and the reason I need my beakers back. I've spent the equivalent value of 2 grams of gold on some e-waste from eBay. I'm going to recover the precious metals and see if I can make a profit on it. I'll call the series the 2 gram challenge. If you want to be notified when it has uploaded, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you have notifications turned on. It's the next day. And as you can see, the silver chloride has settled to the bottom of the bucket. I'll siphon the liquid off into another bucket, so that I don't disturb the fine powder by tipping it out. This solution will be added to one of my stock pots to remove any trace amounts of precious metals that remain. Now that the silver chloride is in this Pyrex jug, I can start to wash any remaining solution from the silver chloride. This needs to be done to ensure there is no copper contamination within the silver. This can be done with ordinary tap water, as you don't have to worry about any chlorides in the water. Just rinse until the solution is clear, then rinse a couple more times. Once it's rinsed clean, I can add some sodium hydroxide. The sodium hydroxide will convert the silver chloride to silver oxide. This causes an exothermic reaction, and the solution will become hot. It needs to be mixed until the silver chloride becomes black. Once the silver chloride has been converted to silver oxide, it needs to be converted to silver metal. To do this, just add sugar. Again, this is exothermic. So please be careful. You'll notice that the silver oxide goes from black to a more silver looking color. Now that the conversion is complete, I have to rinse off all the chemicals. There is a lot of rinsing involved when using this method, and it's not my preferred method of recovering silver. Let's have a look at what I have left. Here's the silver crystals that I will add to my next batch. And here's the silver powder that I dropped with the copper coil at the start of the video. And finally, here's the silver from the silver chloride. This silver, along with the silver dropped with the copper coil, will be melted into another anode bar to make more silver crystals. And here they are. 68 grams of silver recovered from waste solutions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.